And yes, some residents of St. Victor tried to hold the police hostage. And uh, my words to my police officers were, was to stand your ground and do not allow nobody to run you over. And uh, I am happy to say that the officers were very, very brave. They stood their ground while we're sending additional officers to assist them. And uh, the additional officers went in. They took control of the situation. A number of persons were detained and uh, were charged. And I want to make this clear, and I want um, people to understand that we cannot have any outlaw group believe that they can have an uprise and the police is going to back down. We are not going to do that. We will do what we can and uh, to deal with those who need to be dealt with. You would know that the people, some of the people of San Victor have that propensity of wanting to threaten law enforcement officers and uh, believe that they can do as they please. And the law enforcement officers or agencies must be afraid of them. That is not going to work. Don't try that with the police. Because as I said um, on Kremlin this morning, them saying that the charges have been dropped, that is not true. The charges are pretty much before the courts. OK, so, so when, when they went to court, sir, um, one of the defendants had what he says is a gunshot wound, an open gunshot wound on the left side of his stomach. Another said that he was grazed by a bullet on his head and was shot on the left side of his back. Um, would you speak about that and what was the justification for the use of, of force and what type of force was used? Well, Jules, in any, part, in any other part of the world you go, and you try to hold the police hostage, saying to the police that you can leave, but your gun and vehicle will stay. Um, you would be pretty much lucky to come out of there alive. And the fact that they were able to reach the court alive speaks very well of the police, the patience and the professionalism of the police. The police, even though I, I am sure that the police did not use any lethal force against anybody, whatever force was used by the police or whatever shots were fired was with non-lethal ammunition. And uh, at the end of the day, considering the circumstances under which they had the police, the police had to do what they, what they did to protect themselves. And uh, at the same time, to keep their firearms and their vehicle. Can you imagine a mob threatening to take away the policeman's gun? Can you imagine what would happen if the mob get the policeman's gun? And these are not, these are not pistols. These are automatic rifles. Can you imagine automatic rifles in the hands of mobs? That cannot work. No. So I don't understand why they're complaining. They should be happy.